Hey everyone, Dan here. I've got kind of a different tip for you this week. I think it's going to be something you're going to really get something out of. And I recently talked about this in a webinar with a few people and um, I just thought it was such a good tip that I wanted to go ahead and share it kind of with everyone. And what it is, is when you look at paintings, you kind of look at them in three different stages, right? And uh, that, that's what I want to address with you is these three different stages and maybe how and what you can do to make um, it better at different stages. So the first stage would be seeing the painting from across the room. So we look at this Soroya here, or really any of these paintings, but this Soroya is what I'm going to focus in on here. Well, if you look at that Soroya from across the room, it's got beautiful looking um, shapes. And that is, and it has contrast in it, value value variety and color variety. So from across the room you can see how this pink and this greenish color play against each other and then this other kind of color of green and then this big diagonal of white of the model. So the first thing you're going to notice besides the subject matter, you're going to notice the subject matter right away of course too, but you're going to notice just the overall shapes, okay? And I think because of this this has become a really big thing in painting. And I think a lot of times it's one of those things where it got so big and popular, this thing about the um, the shadows, that people um, kind of lost, they kind of got lost in shapes, I think, a bit too much. And while I do think shapes are important and the relationship of shapes are good, or are important to get in your paintings, I don't think it's a... I don't personally believe it's a something that you think about and you think I'm going to put this shape here this shape there I think when you're composing it should be an innate thing meaning it looks good or it doesn't look good and sometimes if, if it doesn't look good you could use shapes as a tool to um, come back in and say well maybe the shapes are off what can I do to make better shapes but as a rule it should almost be somewhat intuitive I think so anyway so when, when you're looking at a painting from the distance what you're looking for what you see are the relationship of the big shapes the contrast of the lights and the darks the the color relationships and the subject matter so that's what kind of grabs your attention and then what happens is you move closer into the painting to where you're standing right in front of it right then a lot more comes into play not only um, you'll you'll see the subject matter and you'll be able to pick out everything within the subject matter so let's say you're staying in front of this painting maybe six ten feet away but you'll see how everything all of the things interrelate and this is a very important place for people to look at and so if the first part is compelling enough that they come to this part then you want this part meaning the brushwork and the um the overall color relationships and the value relationships and the subject matter as well like the expression see back in here you don't see the expression on the model but when you get up here you do so that becomes a big thing so the subject matter comes into play on a different level when you get up close okay and then finally what happens is so if, if you've captivated your audience from the distance and then you captivate them from here then eventually they're going to walk to two in two like two feet away from the painting and then that is when the actual things like paint application come into play and so if they see from across the room they come up close and they're like wow that's even more beautiful than there they step closer to get a closer look at the painting like foot away then this is if you can wow them again this is what I think really makes some for really great art so and you would look at maybe in the painting you look at these relationships of lights and colors within here these all these relationships and how exactly the face is painted in and it's that close-up that will when I, I say it'll make them buy the painting what I mean by that isn't necessarily physically buy the painting but that's where the first is we're introduced to the painting we're courting it in a sense we get closer we're developing this kind of a superficial relationship then we get right up on top of it we've got a very intimate relationship with the painting and it either wows us or it doesn't and you know to me what it is is the the nuances of color the brush strokes 
all that delicate all that delicacy and if you look here i'm trying to move this over but i can't so i have to just back up but like here you have the warm and the purples the warm pinks and the purples and the whites all working together there and then this nice big beautiful thick paint just a really this painting has a great wow factor when you get up on top of it so anyway, that's what I kind of wanted to show you. So here is, show you a couple more paintings. Here's a Bougaro, or however you say his name. It's beautiful from a distance, but you get up close. You look at just how delicately this is painted and how sensitively he painted it. And wait till you see the hands here. Look how sensitively and beautifully these hands are painted just really really beautiful and it just draws you in I don't even know who painted this but boy these are some of the best painted hands I've ever seen in my life look how he posed those hands how delicate it almost looks it's obviously some sort of a religious person but look at those hands I think this is if, if I remember right this is a man too but look how he paint he posed the posed the hands and both of the both of these pictures and they really have a very elegant feel about them really and look at all this lace work in here so this painting when you get up close has a, a lot of wow factor to it and then here we'll end with this um renoir and again you know renoir had some really delightful paintings and um when you get up close he has all of his really famous beautiful little short brush strokes of all his different colors that he used Anyway, I just wanted to show you what you could do. So my suggestion to you is twofold. One, go to a galleries, museum, take a field trip, and look at a painting that you like from across the room. Look at it from right in front of it, and look at it right when you're right up next to it. And I bet you, you will have, you'll be wowed at all three places. And that's what I think we should strive for in our work, is to get that wow factor from all three positions. And I think that's really what makes great art. All right. Hope that's of interest to you guys. Have a wonderful day.